control the atmosphere. You got to be the most apex predator on that pool deck. You got to instill discipline, hard work, and toughness. Come on, Cal and two legs. And then, you know, you have to dress for the job you want. And when you keep that level of professionalism going, it makes it really easy to respect. When you're coaching, you know, 18 to 22 year olds and you're at the ripe age of 25, it's really important that when you're getting people on track um, and correcting their mistakes and, and helping them make progression that you use tough love with them. You know, you don't want them to get too close to you and too comfortable. Um, you know, always got to have that barrier up and let them not see your soft side at all. So, you know, it's, I rule with an iron fist sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. By all the time, it's whenever I please. He does like to goof off a little, a few times in practice alone. Um, that's probably like a hundred times per day. You know, it's, it's about them and uh, negative feedback. This world is, you know, too soft, and we got to give more of that. I, I don't think he does get really mad about anything. I think he gets more, like, sad and disappointed. It's like a, like a sandwich. He puts in, like, two compliments and then something negative, but it's really small, and then two more compliments, and then he pats you on the back. And what I think is so important is to raise tough kids you know it's pretty easy my coaching philosophy is just to swim faster you got to go faster and if you're not going fast enough that's a personal problem if you are going fast that's my reward and when you're developing those type of kids you got to look at what's wrong first and uh, let them know always keep a good slice of humble pie you know when you're trying to train a dog you don't give him rewards for pissing in the house, even if he poops outside of it. I mean, I think it's just I was a superior athlete. You know, the other candidates, they just weren't the same level of athlete that I was. Um, I think uh, they just couldn't hold a candle to me. I think that was really what it was. Uh, he said he played baseball in, in high school, but I'm um, not so sure about that one. Uh, I think I'm really in tune. I think I'm really aware of what's going on. You know, I'm always on top of them. I'm always paying attention. You know, I, you know, I, I think I really just focus really, really well. So. So Jonathan has no idea of what's going on at any time. What? Well, what was the question again? <laughs> I. I went to the. I went to the store. No, I, uh, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I got everything that you were asking for. No, no, I, I, I forgot that one, but I think I got everything else. No, no, got it. I, I could have sworn you said pizza, not pepperonis. That's, that's my bad. Um, really, they sell those. I mean, like. Like as I was saying, like I'm always, I'm always focused. I'm always there. But um, on top of that, I, you know, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a vault. You know, everything that they say, everything that goes on, everything that's, you know, going on. I, you know, I remember it. Birthdays, you know, everything. You know, home life, outside of life. You know, what we did last week in practice. I'm there. He has a very hard time of remembering what's going on in everyone's life. Like you can tell, but then week comes by. He won't remember what you told him that last week. We're not very strict about a timeline or a schedule to stick to. We really just want them to kind of naturally uh, warm up and, and acclimate to each session, kind of on island time, you could say. All right, we're late. Come on, we got to get this workout in. They don't get going on a certain day, it's no big deal, but uh, you know, we certainly aren't a slave to the clock by any means. Hold up, good. 
It's all about the time. You know what's better than 14? 13! 12. Uh, recovery is a big key to our success and is probably the, one of the most important things in athletics. So we really try to make sure they always get rest and they get to sleep in a lot. And for me, I just had a surgery and um, I'm just really trying to lay low and let my body recover and listen to it and, and not really push myself too quickly to come back. He will walk around the pool deck and do some push-ups on the ladder or he'll even grab a medicine ball and start doing med ball slams on the ground while we're doing our workout. And that's kind of weird because he did just have surgery on his back. Um, but yeah. <laughs>